Hello, I'm Dr. John Sand, a neurologist and an expert in myasthenia gravis. I am also on the board of the Myasthenia Gravis Association of Kansas City. And I have been talking to you about some medications and treatments that are used in myasthenia gravis. We are now discussing medications that alter the immune system. I previously talked about prednisone, which we know suppresses the immune system. I'm now going to talk to you a little bit about Imuran, and the generic of Imuran is azathioprine. Azathioprine is a medication that first came out of the experience in cancer chemotherapy in the early 60s, but was found not to be strong enough to treat cancer. It was then used in early organ transplant as the mainstay of suppression of the immune system so patients would not reject organs that had been transplanted. It is now used in many, in many diseases of the immune system, especially in autoimmune disorders such as myasthenia gravis. Imuran comes in a 50 milligram tablet. A typical dose, daily dose, is approximately two milligrams per kilogram. And so that 70 kilogram man that physicians always talk about I'm more than 70 kilograms. We would usually give three tablets a day. Sometimes we work up to it over a few weeks by beginning one tablet a day for a week or two, then one twice a day for a week or two, to a total of three tablets. Imuran does suppress the immune system, and sometimes we follow the white blood count. It can, the side effects of Imuran can be severe. That is, it can increase the risk of getting unusual infections, sometimes life-threatening. It may drop your white blood count, and so we often draw a, regu a regular white blood count for a period of time to make sure that it's, we're not getting, giving you too much immunity. It can affect the liver and cause liver damage, so we also draw regular blood tests to monitor liver function. Immuran itself often takes weeks or months to kick in and start working, often taking six months after it starts to help treat myasthenia gravis. On its own, Imuran does not treat myasthenia gravis very well in most patients. We usually have to give it in combination with prednisone, but it often allows us to greatly reduce the prednisone dosage and therefore reduce the long-term side effects of prednisone. That is its most common way, that is the most common way it's used is what's been referred to as steroid sparing, that is, reducing the amount of prednisone that we have to give on a regular basis.